Hey guys, Vaping Numbers here. So I'm here with another video. Um, I'm actually, uh, so what I'm going to be doing is, well first, oh shit, where did it go? Well, hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. So first, um, let's get this thing set up and ready. There we go. Okay. Okay. Straws on. I think. Hold on. Okay, so that's just a storage thing for the straw, I believe. It says tear off tab, okay. So yeah, that's just a storage thing for the straw. Well, let's get the straw on there. Okay, so this is a uh, um, air duster or compressed air for dusting off electronics. Now let's get into this box, guys. Grounding strap. Micro cloth. Thermal paste and cleaner. So guys, that's a little idea of, that'll just give you a little hint right there as of what we're doing today. First of all, let's um, grab the strap. And I'm just gonna hook this onto the metal bar on my bed down here. Right like that. Okay. Because anything um, metal will work with this. Alright. And then I'm just going to Touch the metal a few times, get rid of all the static. 
slide this onto my wrist. Okay, hold on. Now guys, you guys don't need a grounding strap, but I decided I was gonna get one because it came with this kit. Okay, so guys, now I'm grounded. Now this does kind of, you know, restrain your... Oh, and, um... Uh, turn off my laptop while I'm at it. Okay, it's off. So, uh, unfortunately, I do not know where my, um... My actual, uh, toolkit is. Like, my, um... It's a uh, socket kind of thingy ma uh screwdriver. Uh, you don't need one, but I use one because it makes it easier. So um, I'm just going to, you guys don't really need to see this part. I'm just going to take out all of these little screws. See, like I said, the grounding strap kind of restrain your move, restrains your movement. Yeah, this is going to take a lot longer than it did last time. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that, move those, put the laptop screws in there. But guys, um, the reason I'm using the grounding strap is because, you know, I've already done this once without it, and, you know, if I did mess it up because of the static electricity, then I'm not a little bit. I don't want to, you know, damage it further, if you know what I mean. Just want to go through and make sure I didn't miss any screws. Okay. 
So now this is the tricky part. Now, I don't need to worry about the screen breaking or anything, but um, because there we go. That was easier that time. Okay, now I want to close this. Crap, I, have to, I actually have to open it again. Hold on. There we go. See you guys. There's that. Okay. Close this back up. Okay. So, um, hold on. Let me just angle this down. All right. So, um, so first let's start by taking out the internal battery here. Now, um, the reason I'm taking out the internal battery is because, um, and then this, gotta just pull it out of right here, guys, like that, and then the internal battery comes out. Now, the reason I'm taking out the internal battery is because we don't want it, like, you know, accidentally turning on or anything like that while you're trying to work. Um, cause that'll be, that wouldn't be very good. So taking that out first. Okay. So, um, uh, let's just check to make sure I don't need to, um, well actually first, uh, hi. Okay guys, sorry about that. Uh, my dad had to talk to me. I'm back now. Um, so, uh, let's take this microcloth out. Okay, so the microcloth is out. Um, here's a little tiny thing of dermal paste. Okay. Or thermal compound. It's um, supposed to be Arctic Silver 5. Yeah, it's Arctic Silver 5. Um, fair warning, guys. I've never actually done this before. <laughs> okay. So then, here are the two liquids. Um... This is the thermal material remover, which is what we're going to be using first. And this is the thermal surface purifier, which is the second thing you put on to get ready to put the new paste on or compound. Or if you're using liquid metal, gets it ready for that. Okay. Anyways, so um, uh, I don't want to take off the heat sink yet. I don't show you guys. I don't want to take off this heat sink just yet. But I am going to take off the fans. So take out let's just take out these screws here. That are for the fans, which by the way, these fans suck. Um and the funny thing is that I took out the dust filter because it was just causing way too much overheat. 
because it was way too thick. And it, I swear, like, less dust is in it now. I don't, don't, I don't know how that happens, but, you know. Okay. So those screws, those, those two screws are, oh, wait, there's more. I forgot about that. Um... Now, this laptop was supposed to have liquid cooling, but there isn't any in it. But that's okay, guys. So, I mean, yeah, I know I've been telling people it has liquid cooling in it. Um, I actually did not realize that until I opened it up for the very first time a couple uh, months back. I believe I did a video on it. Um, so anyway, now when you take these out, there's these little cords right here that are connected to that. You want to just wiggle, you don't want to hold the cord, you just want to wiggle the connector out, which sometimes can be a pain in the butt to do, because you don't want to break the cords or anything. There we go, so there's one out. Sometimes you have to like pinch the connection point, like right in here, to get it out. Okay, there. So there's the two fans. Um, so yeah, dust-wise, it's looking pretty good. Now, like I said, this thing, this, let's dust this off a bit. Okay, that one's... Okay, now let's dust off this one. This one seems to have a lot more in it. Dust it off through this side as well. Okay, now let's check the inside. Dust that off. Okay, now that those two things are dusted off. Um, this is where the grounding strip comes in handy because you don't want to touch anything you shouldn't be touching, you know, of course. But, um, guys, here's the uh, JBL subwoofer. Anyways, so, um, uh, let's see. And there's a speaker here, speaker here, big speaker on the bottom, I believe. But, um, so, guys, let's um get to taking off this heat sink. Well, actually, we need to take this off first, of course. Because um, a lot of this stuff on, a, on this laptop is just all interconnected and blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. But, um, yeah. So, let's just take all these off. Just take off all this extra useless garbage. Oh, oh that show. Okay, luckily that's just the uh, uh, HDDR or uh, whatever the uh, SSD, I believe that is. Um, I'm not exactly sure because, you know, it's a laptop. They use slightly different parts. Now, let's just pull this off, pull this out, disconnect that connector as well. Now, this is the JBL subwoofer. So, um, yeah, I don't want to lose that, guys. <laughs> Um, it looks pretty clean. Okay, so now, mm, mm, getting a little bit of shocky shocky on it, on there. Um, okay, so uh, next. Uh, I don't know what that is. But um now we take off the heat sink which is actually extremely small for this huge laptop is just from here to there. Um but yeah guys let's go ahead and take this off. Uh crap, I forgot how to take that off. Um
Maybe loosen these. There we go. Click. 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 That one didn't click because it was already undone too much. Same with that one. Click. There we go. Let's go. So guys, there's the heat sink off. As you guys can tell, um, yeah, the thermal paste is all dried and everything. So, um, <sighs> so there's the ram sticks. I believe that's what those are. Do I have to pause it again? Okay.